Hey, Grandma, nice to see you. We're glad you're here. Yeah, uh, uh, I've been making cookies and, and, and I've been making a lot of bread too. Oh, you're making bread. You know, I don't know anything about making bread. Well, it's pretty easy, but hey, I got a riddle about bread. You got a riddle? Give me the riddle. Well, what kind of bread goes under water? What kind of bread goes under water? Boy, I, I don't know. It's a submarine sandwich. A submarine sandwich, that's good. Hey, say, I've got a riddle for you. You do? Okay, yeah. What do robots like to eat for snacks? I don't have a robot, but I'm gonna get me one. Okay, all right. Well, what kind of snacks do you think a robot would like? I'm thinking. Okay. I give up. Well, they like computer chips and megabytes. Oh, that's a good one. Okay. So uh, tell me a little bit more about how you make bread. Well, you got to start with flour. Oh, flour. Hey, you know, I, I got one right here. Uh, is that how you start with it? No, silly. That's a real flour. Flour means that you, it's ground up grain. Oh, it's ground up grain. That's what you start with. Yeah, yeah. And then, and then you have to put some yeast in. Oh, some yeast. Hey, I, you know, I saw that you brought some right here. Here it is. It just, do you put the whole thing in? No, silly. You just put a little teeny bit in. Oh. And then, then you have to let it rest and, until it rises. Oh, I see. That's how you do it. Well, um, well, what happens if you don't put any yeast in? Well, then it doesn't rise. Oh, what happens if you don't let it rest for a while? Well, then it doesn't rise either. Oh. You know, that reminds me of the people of Israel when God brought them out of Egypt. It does. Yeah, that's right. In the Old Testament, God freed his people from the Egyptians, and he brought them out of Egypt. And when he told them to go, he said, you have to go in a hurry. And so you won't have time to let your bread rise or to put yeast in it. So what happened to the bread? Well, the bread was just flat flat bread. Uh, the Jewish people call it matzah. Wow! And, and so every time we, they celebrate when God, the freedom from Egypt, they eat flat bread. Wow! Flat bread! That's right, flat bread. And it reminds them that God brought them out of Egypt and freed them. Wow! Well, uh, well, what do, you, what do you do after that, after you make the bread and the dough? Well, then you, then you have to put it in the oven and bake it. Oh, then you put it in the oven. Oh, okay. So, you know, that reminds me of something that Jesus said about a Bible verse that Jesus said. Jesus said, I am the bread that gives life. Uh, whoever comes to me will never be hungry. Whoever believes in me will never be thirsty. Well, he said that. That's right. Well, what does that mean? Well, it means that just as bread is needed for our physical bodies to keep us healthy, so it is that Jesus is needed for our, the spiritual part of us that hungers for God. That's right. That's right. He is. And, and then he also said that he was the living bread. In another Bible verse, he said, I am the, bread, the living bread, that came down from heaven. That's what he said. Wow, he said that. That's right, what he said. Say, you know, I brought some bread today because I knew that you were coming today. And so I'm gonna, I'd like to show you some of that bread and then I have a little illustration to show you up too. Would you like to see that? Yeah, I'd like to see that. Okay, well, you sit down over here and we'll look at that and I'll show you the different kinds of bread that I brought today. I like bread. Okay, all right, that's good. Well, Grandma, I brought some different kinds of bread. Oh, I like to see bread. Well, this is a Here's a little loaf. It's a little tiny, teeny one. That's, that's a very small one. And then 
there's a little bigger one here. This is called a Kaiser roll, and it's a little bit bigger, but it's round also, you can see. That looks good, doesn't it? And then here's one that's got pointy edges on it. Look at that one. Isn't that cute? That's a different type of bread. People all over the world make different kinds of bread, and they, uh, but they all like bread because Jesus is the bread of life. And here's another roll. Here's another loaf. This is a big one, and it's a brown one. It's a pumpernickel one, and it's round, and it's dark like that. So people make bread like that too. Here's another big, long loaf. Look at this one. We could make a great submarine sandwich out of this, couldn't we? Yeah, that looks really good. Well, this is called French bread, and it's long, a long loaf just like that. So people make all different types of bread, and Jesus is telling us that he is the living bread, the bread that gives life. So that just as bread like this gives life to our physical bodies, Jesus gives life to our spiritual part of our bodies that are our, our, ourselves that hungers for God. Now, I've got a little illustration to show you here. Here's my popcorn box. When I go to the movies, I always like to get some popcorn. And I did get some popcorn, and unfortunately, it's all gone. But I'll show you that it's all empty inside here. Here it is. It's all empty. There's not even any little kernels left in this box. It's just completely empty. But I'm going to fold it up again because it's a very special box. So I'm going to fold it back up again here, just like this. Because it's going to be a good reminder of something to us. So I'm going to put it aside here, just like this. <clears throat> there it is. Now, we talked about the fact that Jesus is the living bread. Jesus is the living bread. And he's the living bread because he gives us life. So let's look back in my box here for a moment and see what's in this box. You know, there's something in this box that wasn't there before. Oh, look at that. Oh, oh. Did you see that? Was that in the box before? It wasn't, was it? Let's take it out because Jesus is the one who gives us, is the living bread because he gives us life. Life. Life comes from Jesus who is the living bread. I liked all that bread. It's getting, I'm making hungry. Okay, you're getting, maybe we can have some afterwards. Okay, I think we can. You know, uh, that bread was very, looks very good, doesn't it? Yeah. Hey, I like to make bread, but Jesus is the best bread of all. That's right. He's the best bread of all. But, but who can have all that bread? I mean, Jesus is the bread of life, but who can have him? Well, Jesus tells us in that Bible verse who can have him. He said, I am the bread that gives life. Whoever comes to me will never be hungry. He who believes in me will never be thirsty. He uses the word whoever. Hey, well, that means everybody, doesn't it? That's right. It means everyone. Everyone can come and have the bread of life. Wow, that's great. Hey, I got another riddle. Oh, oh you got another riddle? Okay. Give me another riddle. What kind of food do they have in heaven? What kind of food do they have in heaven? Huh. I don't know. I, do you tell me? I'm going to tell you now. Okay. It's angel food bread, angel food cake. Oh, angel food cake. Oh, of course, of course. Well, thank you, boys and girls, for being with us today. And if you'd like to contact us, you can send us a message at 619 School Drive, Wadsworth, Ohio. Or you can send me an email at my email address that's listed on the screen. We'd love to hear from you. Yeah, I want to hear from you. 
Uh, send me some bread recipes and some cookie recipes too. Okay, send those too. And we'll see you next time. Bye bye, everybody. Bye bye, everybody. You are watching WCTV, Wadsworth Community Television.